Have any of y'all ever been through something that was really traumatic at the moment and you were crying and sad about it? But now when you look back on it, you're just like, wow, that was hilarious. My story is when I actually lost my house to a fire. And I know y'all, y'all gonna be like, Theo, that could never be funny. But when I look back on how it actually happened, I'm just like, okay, this was pretty hilarious. And if you got a few minutes, <laughs> I'll tell you why. And it was all because of two crackheads. That, that's it. Now, before I actually tell you how the fire happened, let me tell you how I found out, okay? So I was at work. I was working at Chipotle at the time. I was a GM, and it was Friday. It was February 2017, and I was ready to go. I just worked 7 to 5, so I'm like, you know, I'm ready to party, ready to get down. You know, give it a do, 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 okay? So as I'm leaving out the door, I'm, I literally have my coat on, and I'm walking towards the door, and something literally stops me and says, stay. And I was just like... I'm ready to go. Like, I, at the time, I didn't even have a car. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm ready to get on the train, get on the bus, and do what I need to do because I'm ready to really just get home. I just moved to, like, North Philly. Already number one red flag, all right? If you're from Philly, then you know. Um, and this was right around uh, Broad and Logan. And while I was at work, you know, I said, let me just do a couple schedules. Let me just do a couple invoices just so I can make sure that the weekend is, like, all mine. I don't have to really worry about anything because I had the whole weekend off, okay? I'm finishing up all, everything and all that good stuff. And the moment that, like, I'm, like, actually finished something says now you can go so i was like okay i said well thanks for the heads up <laughs> i head towards the door i get to the train station the regional rail um, because this was in wayne pa and i was work and i lived in north philly as i'm heading towards the train somebody calls me and they're literally screaming over the phone they're just like Theo, your house on fire your house on fire and i'm just like whoa whoa who is this how are you and so um I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, who actually has my number? Obviously, my landlord has it, but I had my landlord number saved. So then I realized that, you know, I was living in a house at the time, as you can see in the picture. But there was a basement that had a different entry that somebody was living in as well. So they called me screaming, and I was just like, what, what are you talking about? He was like, Theo, the house is on fire right now. He said, are you inside? I was like, no, I'm not. I was, I, I was like, I'm actually on my way home. I'm actually at the train station right now. So then he tells me, he was just like, yo, bro, take an Uber. Like, seriously. He said, I'll even pay for it. Take an Uber. So I get into the Uber. And at this moment, everything is just like, what is really going on? Like, you know, and it was a lot of great things happening in my life at the moment. So I'm just like, of course, something bad has happened. This devil. Lord, he always busy. So I get into the Uber. The Uber driver trying to have a conversation. I'm just like. <laughs> like I'm really just trying to focus right now And when I told him what happened He was just like wow man He was like you know I'll just be quiet So you can kind of like sit in your thoughts It really didn't hit me Because I really thought it was a joke It really didn't hit me Until I actually had to get dropped off Six blocks away from my house Had to walk six blocks up and then as I'm walking up, I'm just really watching my house burn up in flames. And they're just actually trying to put out the fire. Um, I did curse out everybody that was involved with the fire department at the time because it was like 35 people out there. And it, it was only five of them kind of working. And the other 30 of them were kind of laughing and joking. So I cursed them out. Um, I cursed out the news people as well because they're just like, hey, how do you feel? And I'm just like, go to hell. Um, so, as I'm watching it, obviously, at that moment, it really wasn't funny, right? Because I really lost everything. I lost everything that I had. The only thing that I had was the clothes on my back and the book bag that I had when I went to work, okay? Now, this is where the funny part comes in. I was living next door to a crackhead, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, another red flag, okay? Y'all pray for me. But he was living in an abandoned house. Pray for me again. Another red flag. Should never took the house in the first place, right? And the person next door name was Breaky. Like, break an E. Literally on, on the ID, okay? But Breaky was kind of like a cross-dresser, uh, you know. Nothing wrong with it, okay? For the, for the community. And he will always get in fights with people that were on the block because Breaky was really hot-headed. Like, if anybody ever called him out his name or said anything rude or anything like that, and even if it wasn't rude to him, Breaky would have to have a say in some type of way. We're just like, Breaky, like, relax, relax. Breaky one time got into a fight with somebody on the block. Breaky got a little offended by what the person said, you know, by the last words that came out their mouth. Now, mind you, I'm looking out the blinds, you know, looking just like that. So I'm just like, what is going on out there? Like, what is happening? And so I'm seeing that Breaky goes into the house and grabs a bat. And so the guy comes, goes to his house and brings out a metal pipe, okay? So they're both swinging on each other. Okay, it's a lot going on. Another red flag. 
they're swinging on each other and everything. And so Bricky does like one little thing, but he slips and falls and he falls like on his stomach. And so the guy took the metal pipe and kind of went down very hard. Okay. So another red flag, something I should have really paid attention to, right? So from what they told me pretty much is that Bricky, crackhead, and another crackhead got into a fight over crack. Okay. So I think them two had a tussle. Okay, and when they had their tussle, Bricky won the fight. Okay, so since Bricky won the fight, the other crackhead that lost, he went and made a firebomb um, and threw it in the back of Bricky's house. And so my house was next door. So it took out all of us. Now, when I look back on it, I'm just like, I really lost everything the two crackheads fighting. <laughs> Like, it could have been anything else. But I'm just like, now when I look back on it, I'm just like, God really sometimes has a personality, like a really funny personality that it's just like, in the midst of my pain, you can always find laughter and join it. Now, you know, things are really great right now. Things are really flourishing and everything. So, you know, I'm really happy about how the way things are going. But in that moment, when I tell you I was so sad inside, but when I look at it like today, I'm just like, wow, two crackheads. Two. What a time to be alive.